Have you ever wanted to make your own stop action movie? Here we are with Ben and today that's what we're doing. What we've done is we've set up the Nikon D5000 on the interval timer and we've set it so that every sec 7 seconds it's going to take a picture. So in between that time he's slightly moving the ship forward. So in the end when we play it back it's going to be a stop action movie with the Star Wars character. To set up the interval timer, go to the shooting menu. Then you go down to the interval timer and you choose your start time. So you can either choose to start it now, which will make it begin three seconds after you enter your settings, or you can choose a start time. I'm just going to choose now. Then you're going to set up how often you want it to take a picture. So we had it do every seven seconds. Then you're going to choose how many pictures you want it to take total. Once you're done entering this, you're going to hit on and it'll begin taking your pictures. Now that I've shown you how to take the pictures using the interval timer, I'm going to show you how to assemble the pictures to make a stop motion movie. What you do is you go to the retouch menu and you select stop motion movie. Then you're going to choose your frame size and your frame rate, which is how many frames are going to be shown per second. Once you've selected that, you can go up and select Create Movie. Now you're going to scroll through your pictures and you're going to find the picture that you would like to start the movie on. I'm going to start my movie right here, so I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to scroll over until I find the picture that I want to end on. Once I find it, I press OK again. It's going to select from where I started the movie to where I ended it, and now I'm going to hit Save. Now I'm going to preview it to make sure that it's what I want. If I decided that I wanted it to be faster or slower, I could change the frame rate here. Then preview it again until I find the rate that I want. Now that I've found the one that I want, you can also edit your starting, middle image, and end image here if you wanted to. But if I'm okay with the movie that I've made, I'm going to hit save. It's going to create your stop motion movie, and now it's going to be on your camera. The next thing we want to look at is the recording options on your Nikon D5000. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the camera, and the first thing you're going to do is hit the live view button. It's going to come up and show it on the back of the screen, and now if you hit the OK button, it's going to actually start recording. So I'm going to hit that, and then you can see the top left arrow, or like the top left red dot right there showing you record and then in order to stop it you hit the OK button again and that's going to be saved to our camera. I'm going to hit the playback button to view that and instead of viewing that one we'll go ahead and go over to one that we recorded earlier today and you hit the OK button to play it and then in order to fast forward you hit the right arrow on your four-way controller you can hold that down and it'll fast forward. If you want to rewind, you go the left arrow on your four-way controller. And then if you want to stop it, you hit the up arrow. Or if you wanted to just pause it, you can hit the OK button. And that'll just pause it where it's at and you can continue later. So that's all you really need to know about the movie settings. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next section.